entertained! Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? What's up guys, welcome back to the uh, series on the OP in 20 minutes guys. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. Uh, this one's geared more for new players. I think I'm going to do a second OP in 20 minutes uh, for strength characters for uh, returning players or people that uh, you know have some experience with the game. Uh, this is more of like a juggernaut, you know, uh, great shield build and as you can see it's still an absolute hammer so the damage is uh is pretty insane as you know on most of my builds i definitely like to make sure that we're doing enough damage to where uh things are dying because uh, the best defense is a good offense right in this case the best defense is a good defense as well so we're kind of getting the best of both worlds here um for the newer players so that way you can kind of turtle up behind a, a great shield and, and still be able to do insane damage and uh you know i the, the video behind me speaks for itself so uh, if you're new to the game, you came to the right place, this is the build for you. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking for it. And don't forget, as with all of these 20 minute guides, um, the full length walkthrough is going to be linked in the description on a separate video. It's about an hour and a half, I think, on this one. Um, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. So you're going to want to take the hero as your starting class and the golden seed as your keepsake. And then obviously, you know, name appearance, do whatever you want there. So we're going to head out in a limb grave. And, uh... Head over to the Church of Ella. And these start pretty much the same on all my guides. Obviously, the very, very beginning of the game is similar. So, go to gate front. And we're going to get our steed so that we can have a way to get around the map faster. Again, this is how you're going to start. If you go to my, you know, OP and 20 minute guide series, and this one's 15 minutes. But anyways, um, you're going to see that they all start pretty much the same. Um... You know, for these very, very first parts. So we're going to grab the map. So then we're going to grab the whetstone knife. Uh, so we can put affinities on stuff. And then we are going back to the Church Vela to talk to Ronnie. And uh, you're just going to tell her, yes, I can call the steed. She's going to give me the spear calling bell and some lone wolf ashes. Uh, help us get, you know, rid of some early stuff. Grab the strength knot crystal tier. I'll show it on the map here. It's right here in Lemgrave. And then just east of there, we're going to come over and kill this knight and get Golden Vow, which is uh, the first Ash of War that we're going to pick up. And I will show this on the map as well. This is just a little bit, you know, east northeast of where we grabbed the uh, Strength Knot. And then you're going to just hop off the cliff right here next to that knight. And you're going to grab the Lance, which is a weapon we'll be using for most of the game if you're a new player, because you can actually use it from behind your shield without letting your shield guard down. Then we're going back to where we first started, the first step, side of Grace, just southwest of it. And we're going to jump down, and uh, don't worry, this fall won't kill you. And uh, we're going to grab this Gold Pickle Foulfoot, and we'll use that later. Uh, then we're going to Weeping to grab the Morning Star, which will be a huge help uh, in the uh, tunnels later when we're trying to get our Smithing Bell. And then we are coming to Fort Height. We're going to kill this knight. Just bait him up the ladder, use your wolves, and uh, get your Ash of War for the uh, Bloody Slash and your first half of the deck to Medallion. A lot of people struggle with that knight. You just, just run right past him, straight up the ladder. He'll climb up behind you. Just, you know, summon your wolves. And uh, while he's distracted on them, you know, backstab him or, you know, whatever. It's a pretty easy fight. Um, then we're going to come to the third church. We're going to grab a sacred tier and our flask. So now we can build our little, you know, custom flask here in a little bit. And I'll show it on the map. And I'll get more into that later, which, you know, tiers we're going to use. Um, so then if you show, right where I just showed on the map, if you go just north of here into this little pond behind the uh, third church, there's a way gate. We're going to take that. And then when you get to the other side of this way gate, the first site of grace that you actually sit down and rest at, uh, you're going to be taken back to the round table for the first time. And uh, you don't have to do anything there. I mean, if you've got runes you want to spend, go ahead. But uh, I just wanted to show that you're going to be taken there. Um, so then I go back to the Kalem Ruins, 
and uh, we're going to work our way over and grab the Ash of War, the Flame of Red Mains. And this is going to be our go-to, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. Uh, you probably saw a little bit in the preview video. This is the location, by the way. And then we're going to come over here uh, to Fort Gale, run around the back side, and then jump down and grab Flame Grant Me Strength. And then just get out of there, because there's nothing fun over there for you. Um, then we're going to come over and buy a dagger. And then we're going to apply some Ashes of War. We're going to go to the dagger, and we're going to put Golden Vow on there. So we have a, a very lightweight weapon that we can have golden bow on and then we're going to put the flame of the red main on our lance um, and that will be our main weapon um, then while we're here we're going to go ahead and equip flame grant me strength for when we can use it we're a little low on faith now but that'll change very soon and then uh, we are going to throw in the two tiers we have uh, so the strength knot is the important one there then we're going to come back to fort Ferrith, grab the deck this medallion i'm going to show you fort Ferrith on the map real quick um, just south of where that way gate brought you in. We're going to grab the other half of the Dectus Medallion. And then we're going to make our run down uh, for the Radagon Sword Seal, which is an incredible um, talisman. It gives you basically the equivalent of 20 levels of stats. So 5 strength, 5 dex. Uh, watch this rat up here on the left, by the way. Uh, 5 strength, 5 dex, uh, 5 vigor, and 5 endurance. So literally... 20 levels worth of stats and you take a little bit more damage when you get hit but it's worth the trade-off especially with all the extra life you get and uh so here's the radagon source seal and then you're just gonna we got no souls right so we're just gonna go back to the uh site of grace so then we're coming back to lyrenia to the purified ruins and there's a way gate right here and it's gonna take you to the south academy gate and save you a lot of running uh, make sure you grab this site of grace and then we're going to go grab the Academy Key, uh, which is right behind a dragon, but you don't have to fight him. You can just grab the key and then head out and then fast travel back to the Academy. And then you can now go in the gate to get to this vendor. You saw I pop some golden runes. Make sure you have enough, uh, you know, the 2000 runes to buy the fanged imps. And then uh, we're going to throw, you know, our all the uh, flask mats that we have add our flasks and uh, you know increase how much they heal us and how many flasks we have and then we're gonna come down here and get our smithing stone miner's bell bearing one uh, just summon your fang dims and use that morning star uh, because the boss is extremely weak to strike damage so that's the only weapon you're gonna really be able to use at this point that's gonna do decent damage uh, come in here and destroy patches uh, you can either finish him and get his bearing and go buy his stuff at the uh, round table or if you do it this way you can when he gets low on health you can forgive and forget reload the murkwater cave go back in there to him and he's a vendor um i had to pop a couple golden runes to make sure you have 6800 so you're going to buy three gold pickle foul feet and margit shackle this is very important um this is what we use to hold margit in place the first boss and then again more got later on so uh for new players, definitely grab that jackal. It's worth spending the runes, trust me. Then we're going to come up to the uh, Perfumer's Grotto. You saw we went up the Dectus Lift uh, with our Dectus so Medallion. Remember where and uh, make sure you grab this Perfumer's Grotto side of grace. And then we're coming to grab the Great Shield Talisman, which is huge for this build. Adds a ton of guard bonus to your shield. Here it is on the map. And then while we're in Altus Plateau, we're coming over and we're going to grab the, uh, the Bell Bearing 2 in the Sealed Tunnel. Here it is on the map. And then we're going to head north to a merchant and grab the cross tree tower shield. <clears throat> and then back to Fort Ferrath. So there's a duplication glitch on the current patch where you can kill this dragon and make him respawn. So just start wailing on him. When he gets down low on life, use one of your gold pickle foul feet. And it'll increase the amount of runes you get from the dragon when you finish him. So then you just keep hitting it. Make sure you're on the horse when you hit the killing blow. And when you see him twitch like that to die, immediately turn, run back to this grace, be really fast, and rest at the grace. And when you stand up, you'll get all the runes, and he'll still be there. So that I just wanted to kind of explain, you know, it's, it's very important you go fast. We're going to turn in our, our uh, bell bearings, and we're going to buy enough stones to where we have 12 of each, one through smithing stone, one through four. So you want 12 smithing stone ones. This is why we needed those two bell bearings to turn in here. 
So we're going to go smithing stone 1 through 4, make sure you have 12. So if you have 2 already from just picking him up in the world, only buy 10, you know, etc. So so then come back to the blacksmith and upgrade your uh, lance up to plus 12, 13, 14, whatever you can do. Um, 12 will be most likely the spot. Uh, get 30 strength and 11 dex if you have the same amount of runes as I do. And then we're going back to the War Master Shack to get the no skill Ash of War to put on our shield. If you put it on your shield, then you can use your Flame of the Red Main while you have your shield in your hand. It's not going to use the shield Ash of War. Come grab the Halig Tree Secret Medallion from Albus in the Pot here. You'll need that medallion later, um, but we're doing it to um, initiate a fight here at the Round Table, uh, which is very easy as you'll see, so that we can get a pretty good armor set for you guys early on. Um, with pretty good poise, really good uh, defensive stats, uh, the Royal Remain set. So now you have that option, you don't have to wear it, but you can. So since the uh, Flame of the Red Mains, like the skill on your Ash of War, scales off of your uh, the level of your weapon, and we now have a plus 12 Lance early, um, we're going to come and absolutely destroy this Erdtree Avatar um, to get the, uh, the next tier that we need. Um, I just wanted to showcase the fight to show you guys kind of the power of this build early on. The Crimson Burst uh, Crystal tier is going to be nice for you guys. It steadily restores HP over time. Um, so if you're a new player, you might want to run that. I just figured I'd show it. Here it is on the map. Um, then we're going to the Siafra River Well, which is right there between the Third Church and Fort Hyde on the map. And at the Siafra Riverbank side of Grace, you need to sit down and rest. And it's important you sit all the way down and rest and then travel to the Perfumer's Grotto that we grabbed. And as soon as you get there, you need to quit out. As soon as you load into Perfumer's Grotto, you quit out. When you load back into the game, you'll be in the uh, the No Crown of Turtle City, right outside the Mimic boss fight. So you see, take your weapons off, and then he will spawn in with no weapons, and then you can throw your weapons back on. And uh, so if you're a newer player, this is like the, the easiest way to do this boss fight, because then he has no weapon. So as long as you have no weapons when you go through the fog door, he'll spawn in and then run over. And then once you see him physically spawning with no weapon, just put your weapon back on and he's no threat. Um, then we're going to grab the black web blade while we're down here, which lets us put a uh, blood and a cold affinities on any weapon. And then we're going to use a stone sword key to get the mimic spirit ash, which will clone you, basically all your weapons and stuff like that. So it's a pretty strong spirit ash. Um, and I just figured while we're down here, we'll give it the option. And then this is your first boss. Uh, so the first boss of the game. Uh, first real boss, Margit, and I wanted to show um, <clears throat> the power of the build, you know, for uh, for the first boss and the uh, the ability to keep him staggered and and just absolutely destroy him. So, you know, this is um, this is an insanely strong build, especially for new players to have a great shield and the ability to attack from behind a shield, um, where you can be blocking and attacking at the same time. And then just to show here, you know, we're level 31, so. Um, I hope this helps you guys, especially the newer players. I'll get a, a you know more advanced strength start guide for more like damage tool wielding later. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy.